everyone, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's Big D Vinyl 2012 here on YouTube and uh, for you today, we're taking a trip back in time now uh, as some uh, people have uh, done this, some people have done uh, several of these Argos uh, classic catalogues online already and I'm doing one for you today as we take you 31, as we take you to a trip back in time trip down memory lane, back to autumn winter, 31 years ago to 1987. This was the Argos Superstore catalogue back then in autumn winter 1987 and let's take a look now at what fascinating products it had back 31 years ago. So as you see here there's the um, this is the um, main front cover of it. it was Argos Superstore autumn winter 1987 the main uh, basic information there on the front cover about home delivery service ordering and uh, other in, on other uh, basic Argos information there the main pages is the uh, is as always watches and jewelry. Uh, both ladies and gents watches there. Oh, now on the uh, on the top right here, as you can see here. Let me just get a little close up of it. Now this one, this one right here, was uh, actually a little kid's watch, there, this uh, blue one, as you can see right here. Remember that back, I, I, never, I never had it, but uh, I remember, uh, remember it being out back then. This Loris watch, this uh, Loris watch right here, on the bottom left. And get a close up of it. And this this one right here. I used to have this watch. Uh, bit of a bit of a classic bit of a classic Loris. Uh, I used to have I used to uh, own that watch many years ago. It's more what the uh, ultimate Casio range there. <coughs> still, uh, still um, has an intense range of of Casio watches um, t which are out today. A range of uh, clocks here. These are lovely. These are lovely clocks right here. These um, grandfather, these grandfather clocks. Pretty expensive though, and also carriage clocks here on the on the right hand side. All the uh, analog alarm clocks right there. Clock radios, women's bags. Also, I believe uh, Argos used to sell bathrobes as well. Look at this, this uh, man and this man and this woman here. Just get a little close up of it for you to uh, see right here. Also sold bathrobes. Oh, we call them bathrobes at work. They're actually dressing gowns, actually, as is what you want to call them. Is uh, item number twenty one? They were twenty one ninety nine. For them, uh, for them, toweling robes, unisex, both for men and women. The full range of um, cigarette lighters there, and shopping jollies. All the uh, figurines, and stuff. Gifts for men. Was there? They had, a, they had the old spice. Let's have a look. 
bring the picture down here. There, look. That's the old, the old Spice gift set. And also Brute 33, splash it all over, as uh, Henry Cooper used to say. Um, used to make, always used to make brilliant gifts for men for Christmas. Remington micro screen, Remington micro screen shavers and Philips shavers. There's also pedicure lady shaves there for men and the clear old foot spa down here. A range of uh, hair dryers, curling tongs and stuff. Here we have um, sandwich toasters. Which are still out, which are still out today. And uh, during the late eighties, as you can see on the right hand side, there was the uh, in the late eighties started the concept of when they start make, started making microwaves. Here we have a good range of them here from Sharp, Hitachi, Sanyo, Toshiba, Samsung, Swan, and also Goodman's. Pots and pans. The range of uh, fires. And this one right, this one right here on the on the top right. Let's get a close up of it. This this one this one here. Is actually um, a bit similar to the one we have, well, electric fire, but it's um, a Dimplex Yield Mister, as what it's called now. This one, this one from a Prelect, the manufacturer of it. A bit similar to what we have now at the moment, electric fire. I just love that. I just love that bedding there. That's uh, this this blue. Bedding, lovely. So let's get back. <clears throat> so um, bedding for kids there on the right, on the on the on the top right there. Oh, look at that Transformers! Very Transformers fan. The Transformers there. There's mask. Thundercats, Postman Pat, Thomas the Tank Engine. That's what they used to look like back in 1987. All range of showers. All bathroom accessories, lighting. Home furniture. <coughs> It's all uh, car accessories and DIY here for you now. And, uh, all screwdrivers and uh, various DIY bits. Black and Decker workmate right here in the, on the top, on the bottom left. All um, torches and these here, these ever. If, these um so let me get the get it into focus these right here these um ever ready uh, front and rear cycle lamps i used to have them when i was a kid for my uh, for my bike remember them so well fitness equipment and um, exercise bikes, darts, dart balls and pool tables. There's a um, top quality sports bags there, and Puma and high tech Ad Adidas, tennis rackets, golfing, and this is basically now. Well, this is basically now the good stuff. 
<coughs> excuse me, all these um, cameras, 110 cameras, not a rage back in 1980s, this one here in the middle, the Helena STB 110 camera, my, my dad used to have this, get the, get the page back, how much, how much was that back then? No, £14.99 and also I'm not forgetting the classic Polaroid camera there on the top right it's a insta, instant camera that was £33.95 back then in the, in the 1980s all these uh, compact cameras here from Helena and Pentax That yellow one there on the, uh, as you can see that, let's get into focus again. Where is it? There. That was a, that was an underwater camera by uh, Canon there. I think, remember, I, think I'm vaguely, I think I vaguely remember them from the 1980s. All good stuff here. We've got um, binoculars and keyboards, Casio keyboards. Those were the, um, the polyphonic Casio uh, keyboards. There, remember the uh, remember that chip, remember that record, the, remember that record that came out in uh, 1983, I think it was called Da 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 by Trio. They used those. Uh, no, a Casio keyboard was actually used on that record. Yamaha keyboards here, and there's. Now there's one or two Yamaha keyboards here that I used to have, which I'll just show you. This is one of them here, the PSS 270 Porter Sound. Which is uh, this one, this one here. And there's also another one as well. The very, very first keyboard that I used to have, which was this one. The Porter Sound PSS 130, 32 key polyphonic keyboard. He had Yankee Doodle. If anybody owned that keyboard back then, they wouldn't. They definitely remember it. That was 39.99 back then. PSS 170. The uh, PSS 270 back then was 129 pound 95. Back then, it had uh, 100 voices. Only uh, classic Porter Sound keyboards were still were were all the rage back then, back in the late 80s. And I still own one of them, which is the PSS 580, in which you've seen seen probably seen on one of my videos on YouTube. It's all um, portable color televisions, Amstrad video recorder, there, Alba, and Hitachi. They still, they still uh, had black and white portable televisions there, which are, which are seen there on the top left. All good stuff. They have all these MIDI hi-fi systems here. One of Amstrad, there on the top right. Let's get it into focus so we can... S yeah, this one here. And also, they also they had um, Alba, an Alba stereo system, Toshiba MIDI system, Philips Hitachi, Sanyo, <clears throat> and these these this is this was the uh, this was the time in the late eighties when they started introducing compact discs. There's two stereo systems right here, one by Sanyo and one by Phillips with a CD player. And a compact disc component system there on the top right. All the uh, car stereo speakers and car stereos which still had tape recorders back then. There was, uh, well, tape players, sorry. Radio cassette for, for cars. 
also we on the and also these um, portable stereo radio cassette players which were all the rage back then I'll just take a look at this one this just take a look at this one here on the uh, on the top right here I'll just get get it into uh, focus this one here my hit up this one here by Sanyo 3D super woofer great big huge boom box that uh, was very very popular in the 1980s for those uh, people on the streets break dancing there's one here with a uh, with a carrying strap the sharp um, cassette player recorder and radio personal stereos now there's three items here that I want to show you, which uh, which me, which both me and my father and my dad had. I'm standing off with this one, this album one here, this red one, with an AM FM VHF radio. My dad had this one. Remember it so well. And there's one that I had with just a cassette player, which is this one. Right here, this Alba CP6 personal stereo cassette player, which was only 9.95 back then. Just had fast forward and stop controls. And between the both of them, and I think we all remember this one. I think we all remember these. <coughs> if like me, it's a big 80s retro fan. This thing here, which was the Canberra Sat Pack. You can store your personal stereo in this holder here. Also, this other one, for, uh, you can store three audio tapes inside it, and with a belt clip. Just uh, looks a bit like a bum bag, but you could house your, you could store your personal stereo and three cassettes in there. Remember that so well. Good classic stuff here. More personal stereos by. Personal stereos and headphones there, and um, world band radio there by Morphy Richards. Most or um, them no cassette recorders. That one there. Clock radios. Just take a look at these. Just take a look at these tapes. These um, audio tapes up, up, just up here. It was just back in the days when we all, when we all used to uh, either be downstairs in the living room or in the back bedroom when we were kids, recording the UK top forty charts on a Sunday afternoon. You know, the TDK, Agfa, Sony, Maxell, and PSF. Audio tapes right there. And for video cassettes as well. It's just the uh, yeah these right here. BS BASF Agfa video. And we used to have these cassettes. The old Scotch video cassette. Remember the advert with that little with that skeleton? Back in the 1980s, re-record, not fade away. Remember that? So telephones and and the 1980s were also st before computers. Well, computers were still computers were out during the uh, mid 80s, but they still had these though. The typewriters. So uh, dictaphones down here. On the on the on the mid right, right, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Calculators. Oh, just take a look at the these batteries. These batteries. These these were um, very popular in the nineteen eighties. These Everready Silver Seal batteries and Gold Seal. By Everready, Everready still, Ever Everready still um, 
is the general make to the uh, is, is the general maker to those energizer batteries that we have today are the old um, box type batteries here PP3 or PP9 and a small one there's a the PP3 battery right there we go with the uh, electronic toys here now and a classic oh one hell of a classic here where is he there play school's very own major morgan the electronic organ there because i used to have this when i was a kid i used to have uh, about 10 of these cards here that slots through you know where these where these letters are in the middle it plays uh, play old kids tunes like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star that you could actually play yourself just by following the colour coded symbols which were on the cards brilliant stuff that was, I used to love that when I was a kid also electronic games here, Tomitronic 3D, I had that Astro Wars, I used to have that as well, and these two robots down here These two, I had these two, the chat bot by Tommy. It was like a little, um, you see that uh, red button at the top there? These two, you, you, could, you could record your own voice on that robot with remote control. Absolutely brilliant. And also, this one was called the Ding Bot. This little small red one, I had, I had both of them when I was a kid. Other games, the Space Attack there, the Space Attack. Let me just uh, zoom in once again. Yeah, Kong Man. I used to have that one as well. Atomic Pinball. And Action GT's Space Attack. All good classics here. One, there's a board game there, based on the le based on the legendary Hulk, the, the the legend which was Bob Holness, God bless him, who who sadly died. Great program that was, and you could only also also on the board game to it, which was Blockbusters. There, there's a one based on the Channel Four daytime quiz countdown, right there as well. All these uh, Lego Technic, Lego Technic ones. This one here, this one, this one here. As you can see here, I think I used to have that. Yes, it did actually. I used, to, I, used to, I used to own that one. There's another great piece of classic nostalgia. Bolton Build from Action GT. Remember that. Two Hornby train sets there, high speed train and mid midnight freight. Because my dad was a big fan of model of, of railways and also model railways. We used to have a great big huge six six by four Hornby railway. And that was one of that was one of we used to have a flying Scotsman high speed train into City 125 there. Those were the days. Scale electric down there as well. Action Force then on the uh, Starcom, Brave Star. When anybody remembers them. Ah yes, now here now this is what I'm talking about. Any trans any Transformers fans out there? This is how this is the original G1. Transformers of how they used to look like Chrome Drone. The Autobot Hot Rod. That's the original Hot Rod. Those Hot Rod's just been reissued from um, Titan's Return or Power of the Primes. 
there's a uh, Ultra Madness down there. If you actually bought Ultra Madness now on Amazon, um, it was about it would have been about, around about twenty pound back then for this for um, for Ultra Madness. But if you got it on Amazon now, just take a look at the price. If you see if you go onto Amazon and um, and uh, type in the search Transformers Ultra Magnus toy, you'll see how much it is now. It's around about well over a hundred pound. Absolutely ridiculous. There's the mask, Thund Thundercats, the old mask toys there. And the only the only one the only one I used to have was that green was that green bike there, which was called Condor. That was the only one I used to have from Mask. I never had the rest of the toys, not just that one. <coughs> All the old classic um, girls toys now, for little girls. Which were all arranged back in the 1980s, including Cindy. And also the big 1980s phenomenon of girls toys, which was Barbie. Right there, my little pony on the other side. Sylvanian families. They were uh, big back in 1980s. That was, that, was, that, was, that used to be uh, every little girl's dream. Every little, uh, every little girl's dream there to be, to to pretending to be their own mum with the doll and pram. That's how uh, little. That's 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 uh, that's um, I know all little girls used to play like that, which was cute. Now that's all uh, preschool toys now. If it, does anybody remember this? This Fisher Price telephone with the with the with the face on it. I used to have that when I was a, when I was a baby. And the Tommy turning turbo dashboard, which is up here. This this here, T Tommy turning turbo dashboard. It used to be a run off. Um, I think it was four or six D or C size batteries that one you you know like a remember that one so well. It was about twenty three pounds something back then. So this is all uh, preschool toys. Keyboards there for kids. The classic etch a sketch of Mr. Frosty down there. So this was the uh, this was a, this was a, this was a um, extra page for the Argos Superstore, which uh, started off around about 1987. To the late 19 to the late. To the early two thousands, so um, <clears throat> you members being the members have been on the uh, satellite channel QVC. The used to sell these these collectible porcelain dolls on the uh, home shopping channel QVC on um, on Sky. More, uh, more, more gifts again. Briefcases. <clears throat> There's even more, um, more. More, to more toys and games here now. Ah, oh, yes. 
the only, the one and only, the the, the one and only uh, video games console that was was all the rage back in nineteen eighty in the nineteen eighties was this, the ultimate Nintendo Entertainment System. That's the complete package there with the robot. I think we, I think anybody watching out there will will definitely remember this. With the robot, the main NES control system there, light gun for duck hunt, as you can see on the TV screen. Also, with the two games, Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. Oh, brilliant stuff back then. <coughs> Excuse me. A couple of um, other board games there as well. The Mike Reed's Pop Quiz, they're on the It's a pop quiz down there. There's a uh, Steve Davis with snooker quiz game. Also, play your cards right with the legend, with the legendary uh, Bruce Forsyth, who just said, sadly recently died. Great, great entertainer. Um, Leslie Crowder's The Price is Right there. Board games. More scale extra sets. There's some more um, Transformers up, up here. And Thundercats. So that's, so, so that's uh, basically it. That's just um, just showing you some of the pages there of the classic 1987 uh, Argos catalogue. Now from uh, 31 years ago. So there'll be another. Um, I think I'm, I think I think I think I'm going to review another uh, Argos catalogue for you coming soon. From 1983. So I'll be reviewing that one for you. I'll be we'll be taking a look at that one very very soon. Anyone who lives in the Manchester, I know it doesn't say here, but if anybody lives in the Manchester area, there was two Argoses, main Argoses, one on Oldham Street. If anybody remembers that, me now in the 1980s, which is no longer there, and one in the Manchester big retail chain, the Arndale Centre, which still stands here today. I've been Big D Vinyl 2012 and I'll see you soon.